and that and there we go there we go so once you're there in the electronic diversity visa program you will see welcome our state department website uh, for 2024 diversity visa program DV 2024 is now open okay the entry submission period for DV 2024 is from uh, 12 p.m. EDT uh, on October 5th 2022 to 12 p.m. E e EST uh, that's on November 8th 2022 okay so we have a, a period of around uh, four weeks okay one month one month basic, basically is one month okay so uh, next thing that you will see is the instructions okay we have so many instructions here then the next thing you will see is photo instruction photo is a very important thing here there is no passport a document required but there is passport photo okay so and then that's a topic on its own uh, but when you go begin entry okay this is the place where you will click begin entry okay so the, the uh, let me just read for you what it says there uh, entry form the entry form is prepared in two parts one for the primary entrant and one for the uh, derivatives if any like uh, uh, dependents okay so each part must be completed correctly and complete completely uh, before going to the next part yeah and you're given like 30 minutes to complete all that process otherwise it will refresh again and you will have to start again so that's why i always tell guys it's good for you to just um fill this green card yourself it makes work very easy because you know all your information you know where you were born so let's click at the uh begin entry that's the green part okay after you click the green part you will see some um authentication code uh that's let me let me just type it uh that's uh t4 b k n a then submit voila we are now in the electronic diversity visa entry form and this is how you fill your information okay so we only have this is the first part and if you one person this is all you need this is all you need definitely this is all you need so uh, let's just say uh, my name is uh, let's just say uh, Gava then maybe I don't have a uh, first name and I don't have a middle name I am a male okay we are filling this green card so that you can see then date let's say I was born in 9th and then uh, maybe mm, uh, zero 01 I'm just guessing years here it's 1976 okay so city where I was born maybe let's say uh, Karura okay or you can even say unknown okay select a country uh, that's Kenya let's say Kenya because also country will will matter because if your country is not eligible like this Nigeria I know is not eligible and even last year Nigeria was not eligible but there's only some ways where if you are Nigerian you can still qualify because for example if you're married to a Kenyan I'm just giving an example if you're married to a Kenyan and Kenya is an eligible country so it means that if your spouse applies for a green card and puts you from Nigeria as a dependent if the Kenyan wins that green card it means you qualify as well so that's the only chance where you can you can qualify coming from a country that is not eligible okay so let's just put um, yeah Kenya I'll just put Kenya because I come from Kenya so uh, country of eligibility so this is what I was talking about this is what I was talking about number six is country of eligibility so if you don't come from country of eligibility so that that's your that's your end there so uh, but for this case I'm coming from Kenya so it's eligible okay so you click that um, is it stuck already yeah I'm supposed to click this uh, drop-down menu but it's not going through anyway 
I'm just showing you guys. So um, let's go to the number seven is the entrant photograph. Okay. So photograph must be submitted at the time of the EDV entry. Photographs that do not comply. You see, photographs are very specific here. And uh, if your photo does not uh, does not have the specification of uh, this DV lottery, then you will be disqualified. So that's why I always tell guys it's good to go for a photo uh, professional photographer to take you a good quality picture, so that uh, you don't have you are not disqualified just because of a picture. Some guys take a group picture and then you just try to cut here and but then on your background is forest <laughs> yeah you're supposed to have you're supposed to have a picture that has a clean white background so go to a professional photographer and if you're in washington by the way i have a good, very good photographer so if you want a picture just holler at me I'll, i'm gonna give you a very good photographer who does that job yeah so go to a professional photographer also anybody who is applying for a green card even if it's a child of an infant born yesterday they need a, a picture yeah and there's a lot of ways you can take an infant uh, the picture of an infant you know so and all these i think tomorrow i'll 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 bring about i'll talk about the instructions then the following day i'll talk about the passport picture because we have a full month so i always tell guys don't dash to apply this thing first of all learn how green card works learn what to do and what not to do so that when you're applying you have the knowledge and uh, knowledge is power as we always say okay so uh yeah photos you see number seven is like a full detailed because photograph is very important you can easily be disqualified just because of a picture we don't want that we want you to uh have a, a legit picture that can be able to make you come to the u.s and make your dream value now mailing address okay mailing address is it, it's it's just there just to show where where, where you live but uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that they will send you anything in that mailing address okay mailing address is just to show you your location so it's not as important because there is nothing they will send you to a mailing address okay the confirmation number they will send you to your email address email is one of the most important uh contacts that you need to keep you need to know to remember your password if you applied from a cyber you need to uh you need to remember you need to remember because i know some guys who applied in a cyber and it's the cyber guy who applied for them and they forgot yeah so it's like uh, the Saiba, because he was a good man, he looked for them, they had moved in the, from that village. So, yeah, it's good to, at least, you can apply now even on your mobile phone. So, which is a plus. So, you don't have to go to the Saiba. You can do everything, yeah, from the comfort of your couch, you know. So, uh, it's very easy for the mailing address. Just write uh, city the city there wherever you come from okay province uh, we, we have counties nowadays we don't have states so okay or you can say po for postal code you can just say no postal code okay then select your country again okay that's number uh, oh, g then number nine is country where you live today there's a difference between a country where you live today and country where you're born and uh, yeah, country where you're born is also your country of eligibility. So, for example, there are people who live in Qatar. Okay, you can apply for this green card. There are people who live in the U.S. You can apply for the green card. You'll just write your country where you reside. Okay, which is the country you live in. Maybe you work there. You're staying. Uh, you're staying with your family there. They moved. Okay, and uh, maybe. You, your documents are not ready, you, can, you are still allowed to apply for a green card, okay? And then uh, number 10 is the phone number. They will not call you. That's why it's optional. You don't need to put that. Okay, email address. 
is very important. Email address, very, very important. That's why a number 11, there is no, there is no number that repeats itself. Only number 11. Number 11 repeats itself because it's very important. Number 11 says email address. A, email address, e.g. Uh, John Doe at example.com. B, it says confirm your email address. Do you know why? Because your confirmation number will be sent to your email address, not to your mailing address. Okay? You notice the difference? Yes, that is the major difference. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see on my live how it's going on. Okay, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys. I see everybody tuned in. I see guys from TikTok. I see, I salute you. So make sure you share this uh, platform. I'm looking straight ahead because my laptop is here and I'm showing guys how we are applying. But it's okay. If you follow on TikTok, whatever you're following from, it's fine. Later, you can go to our platform, which is called Mkenya Marekani on YouTube. The website is called the, uh, the DV. DV. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me show you again so that you are able to see. Okay. The dvprogram.state.gov. Okay. That's the website. Then you'll see a green, a green button. Okay say submit new entry that's where you click okay yeah so we are now on number 11 i was just so specific about number 11 because it's very vital for you to remember your email your password because your confirmation number is going to be sent there and uh recently i think last year they said uh you can if you forget if you lose your confirmation number, you can also use your email email address to get that to retrieve that confirmation number. So, which is a plus. That's why I'm telling you, email address is the only uh, number that has been repeated twice because it's very very important, very very important. Yeah. Okay. And even it says after part B, it says note. This email address will be used to provide you with additional information if you are selected. Yeah, it goes ahead to confirm that you must. I don't know where you can save your email address, but just have it, have it uh, confirmed. Uh, I mean, have it secured. Also, make sure your Gmail is is uh, secured because people can hack on your Gmail. Make sure it has a to it's called way uh, two out two way authentication yeah such that if somebody opens your email your phone will text you stuff like that not just one way not just to put your password and that's all no have it two way auth 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 authentication yes kizungu rusungu rusungu anyways so uh what is the highest level of education uh, you have achieved as of today okay so this is very uh, straightforward as it is okay number 12 is straightforward as it is okay if you finished primary okay let me just elaborate something before I, I move on to green card qualification of education is high school okay if you have your certificate for high school you're good to go or if you have uh, for example, you didn't finish high school, okay, but you have your certificate. Uh, you, for example, you finished class eight, you didn't continue with uh, form four. You didn't. You don't have your KCSC. I'm talking about Kenya. I don't know about other countries, but they require like twelve years of equivalent of American education. That's what they are looking for. So, if you've completed high school or you didn't finish high school but you have two years of work experience and two years of vocational training so it means whatever work you're doing you must have completed some form of uh, certificate or education or vocational training like if it's carpentry there are some carpentry schools uh, that you go maybe for two years if it's tailoring if it's cooking there's some form of school that you go 
and then uh, you get at some form of certification that's what they will be looking for yeah so um so it's number 12 is as easy as is so if you if you you did primary school finish at primary school you click there if you finished at uh, high school no degree you click it there so from primary to high school without degree you now you are the type of people who will need work two years of work experience and two years of vocational training yeah that's what we are talking about okay and then um, high school degree high school degree simply means a KCSC certification then that's vocational school or some university courses so some guys have have done a diploma you know dip, there's what we call diploma in Kenya which in America that terminology is not there like diploma that in the middle of high school and college and university diploma course maybe that can can work as vocational training anyways so some guys have not completed yet university you just write some university courses some university courses if you've done university degree you put that so it's straightforward so uh and then the keynote there is uh you must have a minimum of high school diploma that's what i was talking about reflecting the completion of a full course of study uh vocation school or equivalency degree are not acceptable yeah yep yep so you must have completed eight years of primary school and four years of high school or if you didn't finish high school you must provide two years of work experience and some form of uh, vocational study okay and you can see further details on the http uh, at www.1 one, uh, one tonline.org that's where you can view more information about that okay so uh moving on swiftly uh what is your current marital status so this is also a very uh, something that is also for catching you yeah because we've said you can apply you and your dependents so if you're married with a certificate government certificate you can put your wife as a dependent okay so we have those options here unmarried if you're married it means you're single okay and if you're married and my spouse is not a u.s citizen or a permanent residence okay you, that means you maybe for example you are nigeria i know you're ugandan you're married to a ugandan in uganda we can have ugandan who is a citizen in america ne? okay okay ah, yeah. married and my spouse is a u.s citizen or u.s lawful permanent residence so if you're married and your spouse is a u.s citizen or u.s lawful permanent residence i think uh I've, I've read that those people who are married to americans or green uh, green card holders sometimes uh they don't give you this opportunity for a dv rotor a lottery because they know if your spouse is an american he, she will definitely file for you and you'll become a citizen at some point so that point uh they give that opportunity to somebody else okay so mostly you don't qualify if you're married to a u.s citizen you don't qualify for green card okay you're divorced so if you're divorced in case of children you must show some form of documentation that you are divorced okay if you're widowed as well you you, you need to have some form of documentation because the time you'll be moving from kenya uh, to america for instance you have kids then you will need uh, some form of documentation that because uh, you cannot uh, migrate with children who whose parents both parents are not there it's either you show some form of legal documentation that you have a right to move with them so if your wife is died long time ago uh, you have to show that that proof that uh, you are the one who takes care of your children okay 
So, and this documentation, you will not need them when you're applying for green card. Green card is as straight as, as is. You see? Straight as is. And there's no complication. Okay? Okay, let's let's move on swiftly, okay? So we're in number 13. Yeah, and I'll read some uh, th 13 also because it's 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 serious for US, especially when it comes to family. Legal separation is an arrangement when a couple remains married but live apart, okay? Following a court order. If you are if you and your spouse are legally separated, your spouse will be will not be able to migrate with you through the diversity visa program okay so your spouse if you if you and your spouse are legally separated legally yeah like you have a certification it means you can you cannot put your spouse under you and you cannot also travel with your spouse because they're officially not your spouse you might have kids together but they're officially not your spouse okay and then you will not be um, penalized if you choose to enter uh, the name of a spouse from whom you are legally separated. Okay. Uh, if you're not uh, legally separated by a court order, you must include your spouse even if you plan to be divorced uh, before you apply for the diversity visa. Failure to list your eligibility, your eligible spouse is grounds for disqualification, yeah. So you need to go, that's why I'm telling you, there's no need to ap apply this thing today, yeah. There's no need to apply for a green card today, there's no hurry. Learn about this thing so that you have four weeks, there's no hurry, there's no hurry actually. So learn about green card, go to this, there's so much you need to learn because there's uh, like passport, passport picture, uh requirements there is um also instructions about green card you need to learn and that's why probably most people are not picked because you just go and hurriedly and start applying without even knowledge okay so number 14 now is uh about now children so if you have children that's where, where you come in. And uh, children includes uh, all biological children, legally adopted children, and stepchild who are unmarried and under the age of 21 on the date, of, on the date you submitted your entry. You must include all eligible children, even if they do not live with you, or if they do not intend to apply for a diversity visa as your, as your der derivative. Failure to list all eligible children in, is ground for disqualification. So you see, there is strictness galore. Yeah? If your child is a U.S. citizen or lawful permanent resident, do not list him or her in your entry. Okay? Yeah, so basically, until number 14, that's once you feel until number 14 and you don't have, for example, for, you don't have a child. Okay? For example, you don't have a child, number 14, that's done. Yeah, that's done. So if you if you pl press continue, it will just say it will just confirm all the details. Then boom, submit. Okay. So that's basically that's basically how to fill the green card. You go to dvprogram.state.gov, and that's where you will do all your yeah all your your filling, and uh, we're good to go. Okay. But the secret again is. You have to know all your details on your fingertips because this thing uh, goes like in 30 minutes. Yeah, it says estimated burden 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so you have to be chap 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 chap. Yeah, especially if you have so many kids. Yeah, you will need fast hands, quick, 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 so that uh, that cup of 30 minutes does not find you hovering around your ma your your keyboard <laughs> yeah so uh, let me see let me see some of the questions that are here and then uh, uh, 
kama mtu wako already in the US can anaweza apply DV lottery yes yes you can yes you can yes you can yes you can okay let me see some of the questions here on Facebook oh i mean sorry on on YouTube yes i see a lot of guys here maze yeah Eva Mwangi, hi, uh, Lavenda Odwar, Favor Sony, thank you so much. Let me see. Uh, Steven, Steven Tretu, another Lisa, please, concerning the portal code, uh, do Africa have portal code like America has? That one I cannot confirm. I have to check on that. Uh, Michael Boone, the official, uh, helps uh, kindly show us how to edit the photo. I'm here on my laptop, but I'm unable to. So today I was just showing how to apply for a DV lottery. So tomorrow we'll be here. Tomorrow we'll be here with um, photo edits, correct, uh, correct. Uh, size all those details okay so get ready get ready come ready with a pen and paper right there is no need there is no need to apply for your green card today Yakuna I said in my previous video go watch my previous video how to increase your chances I said and I'll repeat this this is my saying personal saying the saying that is known goes like this an early bird catches the warm, okay? But Gary is saying he's born in a in a in a in a pixelate. My TikTok guys, see me angry me me Oh yeah, we're back. So the saying that goes an early bird catches the warm. But I always say a late warm is never caught by the bird. <laughs> yeah, that's Gary saying. Anytime you quote that. Make sure you give me some revenue, yeah? For quoting my quotes. Yeah? That's my quote. Yeah? Because they, they always praise the bird that caught the worm. What about the worm? Yeah? Ah, oh, what were doing? What were coaching? Here they have a life. Yeah? So, a late worm. So, don't hurry. Because even today, opening this, this uh, website, millions of people are, at the same time, millions of people are scrambling and going to open and and do the DV lottery. My friend, you have... Because if you do today, and then tomorrow you start seeing some YouTubers talk about this stuff, then you realize, guy, you a mistake. Now, you can't repeat. You can't uh, submit another form. You can't submit another form. Uh, Mr. Peterson Gadambo, ah, I want a big up, big up, big up. Salute, salute, my guy. You guy, my guy. <laughs> so... Yeah, guys, head over to your YouTube channel. Uh, this is where it's happening. It's all happening here. At what? Kenya Marikani. Let me let me even pin it here. Let me pin it. Let me pin it here. Yeah, let me pin it over there. So you are able to see that. Let's see on TikTok if I can pin that. Uh, interrupt. Okay. Um, where do I comment my own, my own, oh, comment, yep. So that's my YouTube channel in Kenya. Oh. I've just... This phone is hard to type, bro. Okay. I I don't know how to pin on TikTok. Anyways, anywho. There you go. But let me let me let me pin it here as well. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel it's called Kenya Marie. Thank you guys for whoever is watching from our YouTube. I see you guys. I'm coming to your comments right now.
and also I will I will pin up the I'll pin up the the DV lottery website here so you can see it okay yeah that's the DV program.state.gov so that's the that's the website right there so if you go to our YouTube channel I mean on my platform I'm, I'm streaming this on uh, YouTube channel if you can go over there you will be able to see um, Sorry. Yeah, so bring your questions, guys, before I finish this. I just decided to come shortly because I will be coming here daily, yeah? Okay? So we, we want to be going together. We want to go together in this. Okay. Sawa, 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 sawa. My internet is acting up, but um, I think uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, ni scroll questions hadi yapo ju. Okay, so let's. Yep, these are the questions. On the we are right here. We are on the DV. So let me let me just share that on my stream as well yeah so let me see some of the questions that are Yeah, yeah, sure. Because of passport removal, yeah, a lot of people, the numbers are gonna go up like crazy. So that's why I'm telling you, it's, it's just good not to apply today. If it, green card is a new thing altogether for you, just relax, get to learn about what, how it works, and then um, you can apply. We have four weeks. We just started today. So we have a lot of time. Yeah, there's no need. Hurry, hurry. Hari Hari has no blessing. Yeah. What is the link? I, I'm on my YouTube and I'm on my, my YouTube and I've put it under my description. Okay. I've, uh, let's see if I can share it as well. Here. No, I, I have not copied it here. So I'm, I'm on my YouTube. So guys, if you can subscribe to Kenya Marikani, it's on my YouTube. Okay. Uh, it's over there because I'm not able to, to type here. But yeah, it's it's on my YouTube, and also I've just finished I've just finished uh, showing guys how you'll be able to fill in your green card application. Very easy, one page, one page, one page only. Only if you have now children who are de your dependents. Now from there you'll be able to fill one child. Another box will open up. You if you tap that box, then it will tell you. Uh, fill in the information which is just name your their passport picture uh simple things simple things is not as long as yours okay the 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 main the main person okay uh somebody said nimefika sai yeah umefika sai karibu sana yeah mr jamka production asema thanks for this information it's uh, really helping let's share the broadcast yes 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 kabisa 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 let's let's share let's share let's share this broadcast uh my internet is uh failing me but uh we are still going on strong okay ah yeah let's see kuna mtu hapa anauliza kama mtu wako us na papers haiko in order yet what happens if they are selected after applying you will if you're selected, for instance, and you're in the U.S., now it was Jingiana, you will still remain here until uh, your application is done for for green card now. Yeah, your your your, your process is gonna be a little different because they have to drop your case, 
so that they can uh, they they help you with the green card but you will not you will you will not go home okay you will do it here yep ah yeah Okay, I see Michael Boone, the official. Uh, okay, so I'm waiting for the video tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And then uh, somebody here is saying, tuned in from Nairobi. Men, hapo kwa mail na zip code. District of Bath, VP. I just, I just told you that those are, uh, uh, you can just, let, let me go back. Let me go back there. Let me go back. So we have that's on number. Um, where were you born? City, and you can even put a no. Nobody, uh, yeah. But if you if you really don't know where your c city of birth is, you can put a no. But um, for the uh, mailing address, if you don't have an address, you can just you can just put a city. You can just put a city, uh, or you can use just a, a, a your high school. P.O. box or your church P.O. box just to check check out that box okay it it's not it's, it's just to show you where you come from yeah it doesn't necessarily mean that they will use it no it's not that important yeah that's a just a feeling for documentation or oh, I would say demographics <laughs> yeah I, I need I need to share this first of all on my on my story. Let's let's see, let's see. Um, okay. Okay. Let's let's let me share this first of all. One minute. One minute. Men are not good in multitasking. So allow me. Allow me. Okay. That, that's not coming up. That's not coming up. Yeah. In US, you have to learn how to multitask, like I'm doing here. Yeah. It's called multitasking by pa by force by force. Huh? Wait, I didn't share this on my on my on my Facebook. I'm wondering how now. Okay, let's let's take it on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, I've been having trouble with internet today. So, guys, so tomorrow we, we are done with the application unless there is other questions. Uh, sorry, guys, on my TikTok, I'm really looking on my, my laptop here because that's where I'm showing guys everything. So, um, and I'm also on Instagram. I'm, I'm just multitasking here. Eh? So, yeah, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because uh, every day I'll be bringing you something, something new, okay? So, make sure you ca we catch up here on, on, uh, on YouTube and also I'll be, I'll be trying as much as possible to stream from all my platforms so that uh, we are not left behind. Every man, we will work together. Every, when I say man, I say everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes. Somebody is asking, uh, hey, Anwan Eclipse, you know, Lisa, uh, can you apply for people in Kenya? Yes, but if you apply for somebody in Kenya, it will just show, you will put their details. So it, it will not necessarily mean that it shows you applied them from, from US, you know. So it doesn't add anything. Maybe 
maybe it's good just because you know the information but otherwise there's no much difference you can apply for people but it doesn't increase their chances that's what i'm trying to say yeah uh let's see uh is it normal Yes, now, 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 now uh, let, me, let me tackle that problem. Somebody is saying, uh, is it normal uh, when I press continue in a SEMA URL, he rejected contact, uh, contact administrator? Yes, that happens because I've told you, let's go back to this green card application. The green card application. Here, let, 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 let me show you, let me show you here. You see this point? It says estimated, estimated. 30, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, estimated 30 minutes, okay? So it means if you're not done by 30 minutes, one form, like you're still wondering with where R is, where T is on your keyboard, then your 30 minutes elapse. It means you will, you will, need, you will, need, you will need to start again. You will refresh and you start again, all over again, okay? That's why I'm telling you it's good to fill these uh, things from... Uh, from a laptop because then laptop the good thing with laptop i'm not i've never tried with a phone but i know laptop a phone does not do that memory laptop does like for example uh, let's go let's go come 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 with me to my laptop come to come with me to my laptop for example you see you see i wrote here java yeah let's delete this java uh let's start all over, all over again this uh, entry form Okay, you see, this is, I'm, I'm starting again, I'm starting again. So this is, uh, hey, uh, let's see, H, 3, J, I, K, 8, E, 6, where? E, 6. You are many here, white sana bana. You see, it's not even that. <laughs> S, 4, V, H, why d i hear in america is not h it's h <laughs> submit good so if it says that you have to contact you who, who you have to refresh and then you 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 start again there is that code for that will come it's always different so if you can't see it so i said uh ja uh when you say oh, Gava. I said, I, did I say, did I write Gava? I can't even remember. I just guessed a name. <laughs> ah, it, it's not, it's not even coming up. Anyway, uh, let's, let's look for date of birth. Ah, uh, I wrote Ken. Did I write? No, I said no. There and then, uh, let's see which one will remember. Oh, I, I hadn't, I hadn't, this form I remember, I, I didn't. I didn't answer any but in a computer if you just click here sorry if you click here or here and and start with that if for example you start you, you wrote warofaga warofaga yeah the next time it stops and then you go back you refresh again you just write w it fills for you so it saves your time i don't know if you get what i'm, I'm saying it will save up your time but on mobile, if your time is up, the 30 minutes is up, then you refresh. You will have to fill again everything. So you will spend the same time as you did in the previous post, unless now you type really fast. Okay? So uh, that's why I'm saying. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so it's easy. It's easy to use a, a laptop. It's easy to use a laptop. That 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 I've confirmed. And then also laptop. If the screen is big, you'll be able to see what you're typing. Yeah, because this is inf information you don't want to mess around with. And once you submit, that's all. You can't repeat. If you repeat, you're disqualified right there and then. Okay. So you cannot. If, for example, you miss you miss your name, you say uh, it's supposed to be. Uh, Macmende, <laughs> supposed to be Macmende. You write Mac Mac <laughs> So that's done for you. 
if it goes they will look for that person then your passport you come on the window your passport does not does not uh, resemble the person who applied the green card so you are out automatic yeah the past and I'll, i've said this and i'll repeat because there's a lot of guys coming up passport is not a requirement but passport name should show the same name as the person who applied for this green card it says here first name last name you start with last name here so last name if you start with the last name then first name the middle name then on your passport because you don't have it you say it, we are applying green card without passport so we don't care then you apply your passport maybe next year feb before they then you forget what you are the name you used when you are going to your house you you apply for a passport with a name starting with first name last name you mix those three names that's a confusion right there so uh, it will be very hard very hard for you to confirm convince these people that you are the same person <laughs> They will look at your name, your name, it's confused, it's right, starting from surname, going this other side, and the other one started with the middle name, going, so, it's good for your passport, even if we are not requiring a passport, have your passport names checked properly, and write the same names, you know people are in a hurry right now, because, hey, it's green card, we, we need to apply, need, then you forget your name, at a spelling, at a moja. You can't. You have to wait until next year. It looks. It's a very simple form. It's a one page. It's a one page form, but very with simple details. But they look. Those details will sell you or will burn you. Okay. So and you really have to wait. So yeah, it's a very. So I was I was talking about this uh, this time limit here. So I know most of you get really confused and <laughs> it can be frustrating. <laughs> Uh, last last year I filled for guys and because and because uh, of time difference I have to fill this form when you when when we are together on the phone so that if I miss if I miss uh, something you just let me know but because of time difference I mean equal up size in Kenya in Kenya I don't know it's what time right now so it means if I'm just you send me details and we are not we are not talking on the phone that's why this year I just decided to show everybody on my YouTube then you will come here refer to this YouTube and fill it it's a very simple form you don't need to pay anybody you don't need to pay anybody I'm saving your money you don't need to pay anybody to fill for your green card okay it's a very simple form yeah uh, let me let, let me let me let me let me do this let me let me, let me do this um, uh, Oh, I see. I see my good friend Damaris Obiero. Who call? Who call around? No, no. Are you available? I can invite you. I can invite you. You come. Uh, you come. You come here on this live. Let's see. Let's see. I can invite you to come to this stream here. Yep. Uh, let's. Let's see. Mm. I'm just gonna invite somebody here real quick. Um, I'm gonna invite Damaris right now. Oh, it's been a minute since I logged into this account, Buana. Hey. So, guys, give me a minute. Give me a minute. But in the meantime, you can be asking your questions. Let's see. I'm Bakasi Nairobi, Kenya. Asante sana, Kenya, Marekani for good. Those are the comments I post because you guys are watching a good thing. A good thing. Uh huh. So let's see. Let's see. Yeah, uh, okay. So, 